What's up guys assalamu alaikum this is Sami Asim Khan and I am back with a blast today I am proudly to present you the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado 2013 this is currently the latest model in Pakistan and it is no doubt really beautiful the front headlights the waterfall grills and the backlights and the update has brought a significant change and it looks really amazing and aggressive as well so kindly subscribe to my channel, like my video, comment down on the section below for more upcoming reviews and stay updated. So as usual first we will going to take a look at the exterior, the interior, the startup, the trunk capacity, the under the performance and basically everything we need to know. As you can see if you compare the following model with the previous models it is changed and quite impressive the front headlights the waterfall grills and the back lights the vertical back lights have brought a really good change the suv provides us with 2.7 liters of displacement 2700 four cylinder in valve vvti engine Now getting onto the front, you can see we have the multi reflector lamps with the LED tail light, uh, sorry, LED front lights. This is a new feature added to the Prado family. And on the bottom, we can see that we have the waterfall grills, vertical grills, which give a very nice look to the car. Below that we have the chrome covered standard fog lights pre-installed and the trapezium air intake. Unfortunately no front camera is being installed in the SUV. Now I have just switched on the headlights and you can see the result is outstanding. These are the LED lights. Vertical LED backlights. Now moving to the sides, we have the aluminium alloy rims, 17 inch aluminium alloy rims. Very basic and standard. The rims could have got much better, but I don't think the rims are much impressive or attractive. Here as you can see I have the remote key system with the lock unlock feature and the trunk opener. Very basic and standard. We have the Toyota logo on the back. Now let's unlock the car and hop in and check out what Toyota Prado has got for us. The driver's door mirror is fully covered in fabric. We also have plastic coverings and the storage compartment and the speakers. As you can see we have all the power windows automatic and the central locking system. Power doors unlock feature and the side view mirror control is situated right here with the automatic retractable option. The SUV comes with engine start stop button, headlight washers, this is the fuel opener and the trunk opener. 
Unfortunately, the SUV doesn't provide us with the fully automatic adjustable driver seats. As you can see, it is manual. The SUV provides us with a four-spoke steering wheel with the driver assistive feature, the SRS airbag for the front driver and this is the instrument cluster, dual instrument cluster with the multi-information display in the between. The steering is partially covered in stitching, leather stitching and a glossy look. Four-spoke steering wheel with tilt and telescopic adjustment. Traction control pre-installed. This is the TX model and the top of the line is TZ which provides you with more features. This is the instrument cluster brightness system and the audio trip. On the bottom we have the front air vents with the navigation system, the infotainment system with dual climate control system. This is a storage compartment. This is the four wheel drive system and the automatic transmission gear lever. Storage compartment. The interior is also very basic and it could have been gotten much better. As per my point of view, the interior is not much impressive keeping in mind of the price range. The controls are very basic. So now let's move on to the upper areas we have the glass holders okay we have the mirror actually this is a pretty nice feature and this is the glass holder maximum 0.2 kg can be installed stored front cabin lights and here we have the sunroof this is a sunroof control option Love box very spacious SRS airbag from the front passenger and this is the door for the front passenger the automatic the power windows are automatic speakers storage compartment and we also have the SRS curtain airbag for the front driver and the passenger Now moving on to the back, I forgot to give you guys a complete view of the tail lights and the rear view. So as you can see, I have the TX model, the TZ is the top of the line. Not much change in the back lights compared to the previous models. LED back lights, Land Cruiser Prado badge. Rear reflectors single exhaust on the spoilers we have the rear high mounted brake lamps
Reverse camera comes pre-installed with the navigation system. Seventy six liters of fuel capacity. Mud flaps pre installed. Upper trimming. So now let's get back to the car and start it out. Speed limit of 180 km per hour with an RPM of 7000 and here we have the multi information display. This is a brightness control system. The engine was quite impressive, 2.7 liters 16 valve 4 cylinder engine VBTI technology and now let's get back to the rear seats so as you can see I have plenty of space for the leg room and the headroom space Prado has never disappointed me in the terms of space capacity for the rear passengers and the front this is the arm set armrest with the glass holders the seats are fully covered in fabric and these are the rear cabin lights 7 seater rear AC vents with power outlet right here rear speakers on every door although I cannot get you a better view of the trunk because I have the vehicle standing beside below it Two point seven liters VVTI, sixteen valve four cylinder engine, two thousand seven hundred cc displacement can produce a great amount of torque. Very nicely designed and well maintained. Okay, guys, now as I have completed my review of the Toyota Land Cruiser Prado 2013, so now I will have to end the video. Kindly subscribe to my channel, like my video, and stay updated for more upcoming reviews. Thank you for watching the video. Take care. Allah Hafiz.